All right, I have no idea what this player is doing in transition. You got to guard the ball, okay? Right here, you got to guard the ball. You got to. This player's got to just be guarding DeAndre Ayton. You can't be talking to him about guarding DeAndre Ayton. You just got to know I got to take Ayton, okay? But instead, this player just flat out doesn't guard the ball. Okay, so this player comes down to double team the post. Okay, so we, Jonas Valanciunas can't be standing in a random spot on the floor right here. Okay, he got the player to bring his post up back. So get out to your man. Why are you standing all the way down here? But instead, DeAndre Ayton's going to be wide open for a pump fake and go drive because Valanciunas is standing in no man's land. You have to have your feet set guarding Chris Paul. So right now in transition, okay, you should be sprinting to this three-point line and have your feet set. But look at this. Watch this player right here. His feet are never set guarding Chris Paul in transition. See, look how his feet are never set. So that draws a double team and a, and a wide-open DeAndre Ayton jumper. Do you realize how dumb it is to be in drop coverage here? I mean, look at this. All right, so Chris Paul is going to obviously get right to the rim for an easy two. All right, look at how easy this is to hedge. The sideline is right here. Hedge. The second Chris Paul picks up his dribble, hesitates, brings his dribble back, which is going to be in less than a second with the sideline right there, I can recover. In the meantime, for about less than a second, I'll need backside help. But again, I'm going to be able to recover and bump you back very quickly. Instead, nah, let's just give Chris Paul this lane. Stop running drop coverage. So you give Chris Paul the lane. This defender's got to step up here and backside help on Aiton. Okay, so now there's nobody to guard Jay Crowder, and he can just rip and go right into the lane, draw help, and it's an Aiton dunk. So this is so stupid to be running drop coverage because look where this ball screen is set. All the way out here. So all you got to do is get up, jam the screener with your body, and go under. Chris Paul is not setting a, shooting a three from out here. So just go under when a ball screen is set that high. But instead, you're in this idiot drop coverage again, and you can just see it just leads to easy baskets. Again in stupid drop coverage with Chris Paul. Look at this. You're just letting him get right to his spot. I mean, how on earth is this your ball screen defensive plan? So again, look. Hedge this ball screen, Okay up get Chris Paul out of the lane the second he hesitates picks up his dribble brings his dribble back does anything other than attack off of this big's hip which just pushes him further away from the play I can recover in the meantime where exactly is DeAndre Ayton rolling to the backside defender is right here okay but again I'm gonna be able to bump you I'm gonna be able to bump you back um anyways but instead, you just run and drop coverage, and it's just a wide-open jump shot. Okay, this player's dribble is going to get picked up now, right now. Okay, so if you're Brandon Ingram, there's nothing for you to do other than get back to your man. But Brandon Ingram is going to stick around guarding the ball for I don't know what reason. He's going to lose sight of his man. Now he gets beat back door, and it leads to an easy two. Another problem with drop coverage is, look, this big drops towards the ball, so there's nobody to box out JaVale McGee. So when this floater misses, look, JaVale McGee is just right there for an easy putback, obviously. So, okay, so again, we want to hedge this ball screen, okay? The second that this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big hit this way, which just pushes him further away from the play I can recover. In the meantime, JaVale McGee is going nowhere. The backside defender's standing and waiting right here. But I'm going to be able to bump you back anyways quickly. But instead, you're in this drop coverage where JaVale McGee just gets to roam right to the basket for an easy putback. What is Valanchunas doing here? We have a double team. Stop. We have a double team. Why are you looking at the ball? Just go find a body now, okay? But instead, Valanchunas is staring at the ball for no reason and now Devin Booker gets into the lane for an easy two. This is quite elementary. Larry Nance Jr., you, when this shot goes up right now, okay, you've got to get into this player's jersey, okay? As soon as you box out uh, low, using your butt, keeping this player as far away from the basket as possible, even if it's out towards the three-point line, you give your man 0% chance of getting the rebound. You might not get the rebound, but your man has no chance of getting the rebound. 
When you do what Larry Nance does, which isn't box out, you're susceptible to long rebounds and a save right to JaVale McGee for two. Your stupid drop coverage, you're just giving up a two-on-one. You just gave up a two-on-one for no reason. Okay, so right here, again, up, up, get Chris Paul out of the lane, okay? The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than keep attacking off of this big who's hedging high his hip, I can recover. In the meantime, there is no place for JaVale McGee to go because the backside help is right here. But I'm able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, nope, let's give Chris Paul the lane and a two-on-one. Don't lean towards the screen. Stop. Make Chris Paul use this screen or a ball screen defense will execute. But watch this player guarding the ball. Look at him lean towards the screen that way. So now it's an easy ball screen refusal. Chris Paul's in the lane, draws help, wide open three. So instead of blitzing this ball screen, what if you hedge? Okay, first of all, whether you're trapping or hedging, backside help has to be here. But look at how fast I can bring this player back if I'm hedging. Okay, look at this. Chris Paul just picked up his dribble. So backside helps here, but I'm recovering and bumping you back now. That's how quick it is. But instead... You trap the ball screen. You don't rotate to one pass away, so it just becomes an easy dunk. Can't have your back to the sideline here. Stop. Okay, st if you need to be opened up, back to the baseline. If you're opened up with your back to the baseline, there's no place for this player to go. And then I don't have to move at all. I can just stunt without moving my feet inward. Easy recovery back outward. But because you're back to the sideline, look. There's an opening there to get right to the basket, and it's a layup. Why is this player standing in the middle of the floor? The backside help on this drop coverage, which I can't stand, but the backside help comes from here, okay? You need to stick with your man here, all right? But this player is in backside help for no reason, so now Jay Crowder is wide open. That draws two defenders and an easy two exactly what happens when you don't communicate in transition okay two people right now are guarding one someone's got to say i got this player here so the 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 other player can go here okay but instead you got two people guarding one so zero people are guarding another and it's a layup why are you not allowing yourself to get look at this get up here and force this player this way there's nothing but gap help everywhere okay but instead, you're going to get beat away from any type of help. Now that draws help at the rim, which means there's nobody to box out Aiden. You cannot run drop coverage on a pick and pop, okay? Look at this. You cannot expect this player to drop to the ball and then recover to his man popping. So look what happens. This player's going to get it, rip and go into the lane. Now the defense collapses and it leads to a wide open three. So, all right. So you have to hedge this, okay? Look at this. The second that this ball handler... Okay, hesitates, picks up his dribble, or brings his dribble back off this hedge, does anything other than attack off of this big hip, which just pushes him further away from the play, I can recover. So I'm going to be able to recover much quicker. I do need backside help right here, but if Chris Paul wants to throw a lob pass all the way over here, Brandon Ingram can be cognizant of that and roam the baseline. So it's kind of help the helper. But again, in the meantime, I'm going to be able to bump this player back very quickly. But instead, you're running drop coverage where you have literally no chance on a pick and pop, and it leads to a wide open three. If you're Valanchunas here guarding Aiden, okay, stop. Right there can't be any separation. Right now, you got to get up, battle for real estate now, initiate contact, make him earn every inch on this floor. This separation is a massive no no. Because look, you let DeAndre Aiden catch this ball way too low. And it's going to be a turnaround jumper. Look at this idiot drop coverage. You just give this ball handler the lane. You just give this to him. Unbelievable. Okay, so right here we're hedging. All right, a couple of things. Well, first of all, of course, the second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big hip this way, which just pushes him further away from the play, I can recover. But, oh, by the way, uh, where is DeAndre Ayton rolling to? The backside defense is standing and waiting. And, and again, I'm going to be able to bump you uh, back uh, wherever, half a step back. But instead, you're in drop coverage. You give this guard the lane, and it's a layup. You absolutely cannot switch a ball screen like this with this much space. 
You've got to get up and level to your screener and ready to guard. Um, but instead, Valanchunas is in I don't know where, so now his man has a wide open jumper. Okay, it's stunt and recover, not gamble and recover, okay? As soon as this dribble's picked up now, okay, I'm out. I am out. But instead, look what happens. You're going to stick around and gamble, and so now Jay Crowder is going to be open for three for no reason. What is Brandon Ingram doing here? Stop. You're not a part of this ball screen at all. Okay? This is your man. Go to him. What Brandon Ingram's just going to stand for no reason. Now it's a rip and go drive and a two shot foul. This is very elementary. If Jonas Valanciunas shot goes up, stop. You got to get into Aiton's jersey. Use your butt. Get him out of here. Make sure that he has no chance of getting the rebound, which he won't if you box out. When you don't box out, now you're susceptible to a long rebound like this, and it ends up being an easy two. This cannot happen. Look when DeAndre Ayton catches this ball, okay? Look at this. You're giving him space. There should be no space ever up right now, okay, battling for real estate. He has to earn every inch on this court. But because you give him space, look at this. Now, now you don't resist his drive until he's already basically on the block. So now it's way too low, and it leads uh, to a two-shot foul. This is ridiculous. You're running drop coverage. Okay, fine. Why is this? This player's guarding this man right here. He is not a part of this ball screen. Get over to your man. What? What is that? We got three Pelicans guarding two Suns. So now Cam Johnson's open. That forces the man in the corner to step up. And now it's a wide open corner three. Pos body positioning away from the ball is crucial. Look at this player right here. Your feet cannot be taking you inward. Let's zoom in, okay? Look at on this on this pass right here. Look at what happens. Look look at this player's feet, okay? See his feet, how they're moving inward? So now on this pass right now, you're never going to get back outward, and it leads to a three-shot foul. All right, this is a disaster. You're running drop coverage. Why? Keep this player this way. Why is this player going towards the ball and Valanchunas? I mean, it's just a joke. Look at this. you got two, th three Pelicans guarding two Suns players. So now Cam Johnson yet again is wide open, and it's a three. Get back to bodies, not random spots on the floor. This is not getting back to a body. This is getting back to a random spot on the floor. Get to a body, but instead you're just in a random spot on the floor, so then you can't close out, and it's another three-shot foul. Here you go again in drop coverage, so you're just giving up a two-on-one. So what do you think happens in two-on-one situations? So again, right here, we want to hedge. We want to get up. The second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip, which just pushes him further away from the play, okay, I can recover. In the meantime, all right, forgetting all of that, where is JaVale McGee going? The backside help is right here. The sun spacing is atrocious, okay? But instead of hedging, all right, you're just running this dumb drop coverage, and it's an easy layup. But there's no point for Brandon Ingram to be this far in, okay? This is doubling, okay? Being in the gaps means my left foot is parallel to the block, right foot out, wide stance, Okay, this is doubling. If we want to send this player anyway, it's right here where there's nothing but traffic, as you can see. But this is just doubling right now. So now look, now you're not able to get out to your man who's just going to rip and go into the lane. You have to contest so it leads to an easy offensive rebound and put back. You have to know the Suns are in the bonus. So you have to be ex even more calculated when you gamble. Look at this right here. So here comes a turnover. Stop. Phoenix has this ball. The only thing you accomplish by gambling is, one, we lose you in numbers on defense, or you get called for a cheap foul, which is exactly what happens, and now the Suns are at the line. How to call out the flare screen. Okay, your man is clearly setting a flare screen, so right now I'm yelling, flare, 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 so Brandon Ingram knows to get up and over the top of this flare screen. You don't communicate that there's a flare screen, now Brandon Ingram gets hit with the flare screen. And now you're screwed. And now JaVale McGee's wide open for a layup. Here's more of your idiot drop coverage. So you just give this guard the lane and a wide open shot at the rim. Holy smokes, is that an atrocious ball screen defense. Okay, so let's get this guard out of the lane. Okay, push him this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big sip, I can recover. In the meantime, okay, 
Uh, yes, I need backside help right here. But again, one, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly. But two, if uh, Cameron Payne wants to make a skip pass all the way over here and you're in backside help, you have plenty of time on the air time of that pass to get back out. But, you know, instead, you're just making this way too easy for Cameron Payne. Again, more idiot drop coverage. So Cameron Payne gets just, I mean, look at that. How is this your ball screen defensive scheme? Let's get Cameron Payne the heck out of the lane, okay? The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip, I can recover. In the meantime, I need backside help right here for JaVale McGee's role, and this player can occupy these Suns players two passes away. But again, I should be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, you do whatever this is. All right, you switch this first ball screen. This player's feverishly fighting over the top because you're in drop coverage here. So he's going to fall. That's going to force this player to have to come all the way down. And there's nobody now to guard his man at the top of the key. So it's a wide open three. So again, let's just calm down. I like that you switch the first one, but stop. Stop. You do not need to be feverishly fighting over the screen, right? Because why? Well, we're hedging. Okay, so now you can just take your time to get over the top. Your only responsibility is to not let this player split through. Okay, and now look. Now, first of all, this player needs to get down. But uh, now we're pushing this guard out. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big sap, which just pushes him further away from the play, I can recover. In the meantime, where on or if this player is where he's supposed to be, which is, as we said, down here, the backside help is right here. It's literally right here. So, and I'm going to be able to make you allow you to recover back quickly anyways, which is just one step anyways. But again, instead, you're feverishly trying to fight over the screen because you're in drop coverage. You fall, and it's just game over at that point. All right, what is this player doing? Jonas Valanciunas, stop. Okay, so this player's coming into the lane. Great gap help right here. Love it, okay? So now this player's dribble's picked up. Get out to JaVale McGee. You are doing nothing by standing in the, in the charge circle, okay? The help comes from right here. Get out, out, out. Valanciunas is just going to stand in no man's land, and now it's a JaVale McGee open jumper. Thank God you're finally hedging a ball screen. But when Valanciunas recovers like this, stop. This player's guarding one-on-one. -on -one. You need to get to Aiton, right? So look at this. You're not. You're just in the middle of nowhere for no reason. And how Aiton's just got an easy little shot at the rim. Don't hedge until Chris Paul comes off the screen. Chris Paul hasn't come off this screen, and you're already hedging. Wait, okay? When he takes a dribble this way, then you hedge. But he hasn't put the ball on the ground yet, so you're hedging nothing. Chris Paul hasn't gone anywhere, okay? And now your man's going to be wide open, and it's going to lead to a dunk. Why, oh why, do you choose drop coverage? Look at how much more time Chris Ball gets with the ball because you use drop coverage. So now that swing pass is right there, and it's an open jumper. Look at if you hedge this ball screen. Oh my goodness. Right now I'm hedging. There's no place for Chris Paul to go. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, okay, um, picks up his dribble, I can recover. In the meantime, yeah, I need backside help, but... Again, I'm going to be recovering in like a second because I'm hedging in the sidelines right there, and this player's back. But instead, you let Chris Paul dribble, the, make one extra dribble, okay, and it's just going to lead to an easy skip pass and a jumper. I mean, off this turnover right here, you can't slow down. you got to just, if you're this player here, sprint, 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 sprint back. Get underneath the ball, okay? Look at this. Stop right, see, look at this. Look at how this player's slowing down. Why? If you are sprinting, look at, we already have this guard uh, getting in the way of this. If you sprint the whole way, now we're literally double teaming this player coming down the lane. But instead, you slow down, and Jay Crowder is going to now get a layup. Okay, so this guard is going to easily fight over the top um, of this screen right here. Okay, look at this. Look at how easy he fights over the top of the screen. So if you're uh, this player here, I believe that's Valanciunas, get back. Well, what are you doing? Why are you dropping to the ball when this player is guarding one on one? But you stick around. Then here comes a cross screen, okay, and then a down screen, and you're nowhere to defend the down screen, and it leads to an easy two. Why are you getting beat this way? Angle this player this way, where there's nothing but, there's no place for him to go. I got two brick walls waiting for him. Instead, you're going to get beat away from any of that help, 
And look, now this player goes straight to the rim, and it's a two-shot foul. Got to do something about this screen. You cannot go under. This player's guarding. Look at, look at how easy this is to hedge. The sideline is right here. So right now we're not going under, okay? We're going over, and then we're hedging. Because this player, the second he picks up his dribble, uh, brings his dribble back, hesitates, okay, which is gonna which is gonna happen in less than a second with the sideline right there. I can recover. In the meantime, backside help comes from right here. This player can occupy these Suns players two passes away. But again, I'm gonna be backing, uh, uh, bumping you back over here in less than a second. But instead, you just go under and give up an open three. Okay, you're guarding in the full court. What are you doing? Flip your hips. Get beat this way where there's no place to go. Instead, you get beat away from any help, and it's a layup. Hey, this is insane. This player is shooting a free throw. This player is tying his shoes, and this player never boxes out. you got to get low and box out. Uh, find a different time to tie your shoes, okay? What is this? Look at this. Miss free throw. Easiest offensive rebound off a of free throw ever, and an easy two. Get back to bodies in transition, not random spots on the floor. Look at this. This is three Pelicans players guarding one Suns player. Someone has to go find a body. I don't know. And communicate. But you just, this is a little two on one now and a wide open three. Cannot happen. Look at this player's back. Where is it? Stop. Look at his back is not totally to the baseline. He's got his back to the sideline. If you're opened up and your back's to the baseline, this player has no place to go. You're right in the gaps. There's no place to go. But your back's to the sideline, so this player's able to go right through for a layup.